Hey guys, Ashley here. Today I want to share with you the master lists that I keep inside of my planner that I refer to pretty much on a weekly basis, um, sometimes a daily basis, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But the first thing, the first list that I want to show you guys is my weekly planning list. So I keep all of my list right here after this dashboard. Um, that's my habit tracker that I have. My weekly planning master list. This is the one that I refer to each week whenever I'm planning out my week. And basically what this is, um, is just a checklist of all the things that I need to plan for or could potentially have to plan for, right? So I don't need to plan for every little thing. Some things on here don't happen, but you get the gist of it. It's just kind of like a master a master list for me to brainstorm all the things I would have to plan for weekly. And I broke this down into three different categories. So I've got my home category. This is where I'm planning for our schedules for me, Jimmy or Levi, my cleaning schedules. If we have appointments, if Jimmy has golf tournaments, anything that we need to do in the garden, um, my study schedule, uh, my monthly, this is just kind of a reminder to check my monthly layout to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Yard work, if there's errands, um, this category is content. So this is content that I create for like YouTube and Instagram and that kind of thing. So, you know, planning out my content, my filming and editing schedules, my Instagram content, if I need to take photos, anything that I need to do for the squad, that's there. This one is a coaching one. So I am a health and fitness coach and I have some things that I do every week for that. So I've got team calls. Those are on Mondays and Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. I need to check applications. So there's a link in my Instagram bio for applications to work with me. And I like to check those um, at least every other day. I don't check them every single day, but about every other day I check my applications to see who's applied. Um, if I have any one-to-one -one calls that I need to schedule out. And then from there, I also have a monthly planning master list, which I'm just now updating this. Um, so I just started on this. It's not completely finished just yet. But I have two categories on here so far. So I've got my home category and my content category. So home would be like air filters if there's any kind of cleaning that I need to do that you know you just don't do every week or whatever. Oil changes, cars, um, bills, that kind of thing goes here. Content, so basically, basically for content, it's planning out the content for the month, right? And then um, anything that I need to do for squad. So that's my weekly and my monthly planning master list and I refer back to these whenever I'm planning out my weeks and planning out my months. The next one that I have is my morning and evening routine which honestly I don't refer to this much anymore because I just know the routine doesn't mean I get up every single morning like I want to but I know the routine I know the things that I'm doing but my morning routine is my start today journal um, block scheduling and planning my day, my Bible study, my workout, shower, getting ready, and if I need to lay out anything out of the freezer for dinner. My evening routine is to get, make sure I have my coffee ready for the next morning, my workout clothes or gear if like I need to get my yoga mat out, weights, that kind of thing's already closed. So after I shower, I need to I need to get dressed. So having that stuff ready, getting my desk set up, that's a big one for me, you guys. When I come in here in the mornings to do my morning routine, like when I'm planning my day, I'm doing my Bible study, that kind of stuff, if my office is a disaster, so is my brain. Like I can't function at all. Um, so at night, I like to get my desk kind of cleaned up a little bit, straightened up. So when I come in here in the morning, I can focus on the things that I need to get done. Um, and then also a part of my evening routine is just to kind of review my planner. Sometimes I plan for my next day the night before. Most of the time it happens in the morning. I mean, you know, none of this is actually set in stone, but this is just kind of list to have inside your planner. Now I have this one that I had made. This was into four different categories. This was like kind of a brainstorm into all of these different areas. So this was just a general brainstorm of things that I wanted to get done that didn't necessarily need to happen. These are spreads that I wanted to make, which I already made those forever. I'm gonna never to check it off. So there's those. Um, I did this one a while back. Memory keeping calendar. I don't know what I meant by that. Okay, <laughs> those are spreads that I wanted to make. These were YouTube videos, I YouTube video ideas, but I uh, I created a whole new list for those. So um, all of those I've taken off, put it on another list. These are things that I wanted to do for my business. So um, that's in a whole nother list now as well. I honestly just keep this here to see the spreads and this brainstorm. These two I went ahead and put on their separate lists. So there's that. And then the other section that I think it's a really good um, Thing to have is a goals section inside of your planner. You guys, we've got to be planning for our goals. 
Um, I think that's really important. I'm big on goal planning. I'm big on, you know, working towards the things that are extremely important to you. Um, working on those goals that, you know, the ones that tug at your heartstrings where you're just wanting to do those. I believe in the power of planning for your goals and not only planning for them. Cause look, I say this all the time. You can plan your heart out, but if you're not taking action and following through with those plans, it doesn't really matter then, right? So not only planning for your goals, but actually taking action on your goals and moving forward. So this little section here is, um, my goal, my goal section. And I, I don't have it fully 100% set up yet. I've actually started hashing out my goals for the rest of 2020 because listen here, y'all, 2020 will not win. She has been a, a thing. <laughs> She's not been a very nice, nice year to us, but you know what? I'm not letting 2020 win. So I started to hash out my goals for the rest of the year. And basically the way that I do that is I just take a happy notes and I start writing down all the things that I want to accomplish. And then I start working backwards. Like I choose the most important things that I want to accomplish and I start kind of working my way backwards of like, what are the things that I need to do to make this happen? Does that make sense? So that's kind of how I hash out my goals. And then from there, I clean it up a little bit and I'll put it inside of here. And then each week I'm also kind of making sure that I'm moving forward closer to, towards my goals. So this is my goal section for right now. This come from the Wild Style Companion Pack. This is, um, you know, focus, vision, goal. You can kind of write it out here. You can set three big goals here. And again, I haven't finished hashing them out. That's why this is empty. It will get filled in here very soon. Um, but I kind of made a mistake. So let's take that out. I had initially, I, this was like a whole planner setup thing that I had just, I did, and I wasn't very happy with it afterwards. I didn't have planner piece, so I went back and rechanged some things, and it kind of messed with me. Um, initially, I, this was going to be the start of my planner, right? It's going to start here. So the very first, when you first opened up my planner, this was what was going to be up front was my goal section. There wasn't going to be a whole nother planner up here. I changed things around, so now this is kind of stuck in between two planners. Um, but I did stick it to this July page, and that's why I haven't moved it, right? So... Um, I think this was blank on the back of it. I'm not 100% for sure. But anyways, I took the Tombow double-sided tape. I taped it to the dashboard. Not thinking about this whenever I did it, when I take July out of this planner to put in more months, this page is, technically should go with it. It doesn't have to, obviously. I know that, but I didn't think about that. So here's what, what I kind of thought about doing. Was taking, um, this is from the Wrong Wrong Accessory Pack. This is also like a vision board kind of thing. It, um, goal thing. So here's the front of it. The inside of it, I thought about, I don't want to because this is super cute, but then again, I kind of want to is like tape those together and then have this here. So this is what would happen. So when we open this up, we'll have this section here and I'll have my three big goals set for the rest of the year, kind of, um, write it out over here as well. And then I'm gonna thought about gluing these two together so then I open it up and I can have a vision board here. Um, I haven't fully decided on doing that yet. That's that's just so stinking cute. Like I don't wanna not have to see that, but I kinda wanna do it that way and then take this whole little section and move it to the front of my planner, right? So that's the very first thing that I'm gonna open up to is my goals. I really truly believe it's important to have a goals section inside of there to know what you're working towards and to actually work towards those things. Um, I don't I don't want to live a stagnant life. I've actually talked about this before. One of my big regrets, you guys, honestly, is, is getting to the end of my life and being filled with regret. Um, you know, God willing that I get to live until, you know, like 80 or 90 years old. Um, I don't want to get to that age and regret not doing the things that I wanted to do because I was scared or I, you know, was worried about what other people would think. So I am big on goal setting. Very, very big on goal setting. So I think it's important to have a section inside of your planner just for that. And um, if you guys want to see how I kind of hash out my goals, that whole process, let me know down in the comments. If you guys want to actually see me set this up, let me know in the comments as well and I can show you guys. For now, I'm going to leave it the way it is until I finish hashing out my goals and then I will do this whole section. But I, it's in here. It's ready to go. It's waiting on me to finish planning out my goals. So as soon as I do that, I will fill this in. So some other lists that you may think about that would be 
um, you know, that would work for you in your life. If there's any kind of routine that you have that maybe you're not used to yet, create a master list for it so you have that. I definitely think the weekly schedules, like I showed you, having a weekly um, planning schedule is important to have inside your planner so you don't forget to plan for something. I've done that hundreds of times. <laughs> Uh, having a weekly planning list just to kind of remind you and jog your memory of things that you needed to plan for. When I was in nursing school, this was a list that I used all the time. Not this one specifically. I had a whole different list, but I used it every single week so I wouldn't forget a care plan or um, a clinical time or an exam or a quiz. Like it was huge for me and it still is today even though I'm not in nursing school now. So having this list I think is really important. Having a monthly planning list um, is important and just kind of fill it in as you go you, know, you don't have to put everything down all at once just kind of fill it in um you know if having a good solid morning routine or evening routine is important to you having those lists you also may need to create lists that's for work so maybe there's certain things that you need to do for work and um the cool thing about having a master list is so we're not trying we're not wasting time trying to remember the things that we need to plan for, right? So everything's already wrote down, it's jogging your memory and you can plan a little bit faster. So, I mean, that's really the whole point of this. So maybe there's some things for work that you need to have a list for. Uh, maybe you have one for the weekend, so things that you need to accomplish on the weekend. That's actually a fantastic idea and that's a list that I would love to make. Um, let's just, let's do that really quickly. I think that's a great idea. We'll just put it down here. weekend planning right and then the things that I want to plan for on the weekend I'll put down here which a lot of this stuff is on the weekends but there's some things that I do solely on the weekend right um, so I will add those in there that's a really good idea so those are some of the master lists that I have if you guys have any other suggestions make sure you drop them down in the comment section below because um, it might be a master list that would be helpful to me or to other planner babes and I'm all about sharing everything with each other and helping each other out so make sure you guys share um, share any tips that you have, any master lists that you have that's been really helpful to you so we can, um, we can support each other and we can help each other plan a happy life. So thanks guys for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, come hang out with me on Instagram and I will see you guys in the next video.